One, two, three. Uh, let's start streaming. Hello. Hello. Hello, testing. Hello, testing. Hello everyone, this is John English and today I'm streaming live from my YouTube channel, John English. And also I'm streaming from my fan page, which is John English. Oops. So I decided to make this live streaming on my YouTube channel. So 
so we can practice we can practice live if is there anyone if is there anyone um, out there don't forget to subscribe so we can we can stay up to date i'm just testing here how everything is looking okay it seems everything is going okay I'm just testing both. Don't forget to subscribe. Both and stay up to date. I'm kind of testing my audio. And it's a little bit, little bit late in my country, but it's okay, I believe. There's not a problem. So I would like to start with um, checking a website called Ping. Eagle for you. Uh, if you want to start practicing grammar and everything, uh, this is a great website that you can use in order to in order to oh okay I think I'm gonna open it and not a different window Three. Doesn't show all the advertise. Oops, no, it's not working. So I might have to use another browser. So basically, this is the website. But I have to open it. Okay, so a different browser, so it doesn't show that. Um, what do you call it? Advertising. I hope it's show, showing the right. Hope it's showing the right um, window. Let me see. There you go. It's not showing it. I have to stop this.
okay this one I don't think I'm sharing the, the right one but on Facebook I don't think I'm sharing the right window and just check out Only the website. One, two, three, okay. Because I don't want to show those advertisements. Okay, there you go. So this is John English. My name is Jonathan, and I'm here um, sharing with you this live video. And in this this time, I'm I want to talk about a website that is really useful. Live video. And it is. Is really useful for oh, let me share I'm gonna share this to my groups on Facebook just give me one moment okay so I'm, I'm basically I'm streaming at this time because I'll uh, this time it's not, um, oops, sorry about it. Not too noisy and it's cool here. So everyone is sleeping. Less noise. So we have less noise. And okay, I'm sharing this in Facebook so some of my friends can. I'm starting a watch party. I'm sharing this on Facebook so some of my friends can. I'm starting a watch party. I'm sharing this on Facebook so some of my friends can. I'm starting a watch party. 
Yeah. Share to Facebook. Okay, let's. Oh, some echo on my phone. I hope it's not okay. There you go. So this is the um, this is a website, and uh, I basically I like to use. Um, and let's start with grammar. We have here grammar, writing, vocabulary, tests, study tips, daily English. Uh, we have here dictionary. We have countries, animals, sports, well, all game, all types of material in order to practice our English. So I would like to start by um, let's start with games and riddles. How about some games? It says it's a okay. We have here a vocabulary game. Better English step by step, step by step. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so okay, it seems it's a game for printing. It's useful for class, but in this so so far we are we would like something to do online. Let's see, hangman, of a hangman. Okay, there we go. We have let's start by playing some games. It says Hangman Game Topic Olympics was the word. So let's start by the vowels A. Let's see how it goes. Sorry about that. Um, it seems it's not. And out there, let's continue with E. No, that's the word without A and E. So let's continue with I. So we got an I. Let's continue with O. No, there is no who's here. You. And we have some, a lot of mosquitoes here. Okay, so I don't know, I guess B. Something I don't like with this website. Okay. We don't have, mm, let's go with M. Nothing's going on, so. Oh, let's continue, no problem. What about B, V? Oh, damn, I got killed, cycling. Mm. Let's go back to find something else. Who's my Valentine? Doubles. English quizzes. Mm. 
to load this Philips Minot. Oh, let's go with this lock test. How about this lock test? Is your crush the right one for you? Do our test to find out. Choose a number. So let's say we choose, um, I don't know what do you, what do you guys say? I don't know what do you guys say. If you want, you can leave a comment below this video. Uh, let me check on my phone. Okay, so um, Facebook, let's see what's going on on Facebook, on YouTube. YouTube. Oh, Facebook, let's see what's going on on Facebook, on YouTube. YouTube. Oh. Okay, sorry about it, it was just my own voice okay it says is your crush the right one for you do our test to find out choose a number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten mm, i think let's go with seven choose a color we have yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green, black, pink. Oh, let's choose blue. Oh my god, there's so many mosquitoes in here. Okay. How about um, your crush is male or female? Of course, it's female. I'm getting bitten by a lot of mosquitoes in here. Jesus Christ. How many letters are in your crush's name? Mm, that's, that's interesting. Let's see. Let's see. Um, her name is starts, let's see, two, three, seven, seven letters in her name. So let's see, let's go submit, it says, what are you waiting for? Oh, I don't. I didn't, didn't understand very much here. Let's go with fortune teller. Fortune teller. Oh no, this is like a game for. Oh, it's a table game. Let's go and see what are these e cards about. Okay, jack o' lantern. Well, now let's go with some grammar. How about some grammar? How about some grammar? Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on in here. English grammar, table of tenses, full of exercises. And this is interesting because we have, we can have a mix of all of these tenses, random sentences. So we can find here 
positive senses, sentences, negative questions, present progressive. We have here simple present, present progressive, simple past. Uh, let's choose. Let's choose a basic level. Go with. Go with level three. Simple present exercises. Okay, so we have to to unscramble or to organize these sentences. Let's start with form positive sentences in simple present. So we go, we climb a mountain. That's a simple sentence. Let, let me put a dot. I guess now we have here, what do you think? Um, what do you think would be the best? The best one here. Okay, I was okay. Did you do it already? I don't see any comment yet. I don't see any comment yet, but how about this? Will be it rain a lot. It rain a lot. So we have pronoun, verb, and the complement. Do you think is that is okay? Is that okay? Okay, you're right, it's not okay. We need to add an S because we we have it as a third person. So it rains a lot. You the castle visit. So we got again you and the verb visit complement the castle. Next one. Betty the subject do her best. Betty do her best. You think that's correct? You're right. It's not correct. We need to add an E and S here because we have Betty, which is her person. Okay, number five. They run races. They run races. That's it. Is have make right? Is have ache. All right. No, it's not right. Is have aches. We again we have for a person. 
Now we have she teach in London. She teach in London, is that correct? No, it's not. She teaches in London because we have she, then we have um, the verb, then we have to add e and s. The next one we have. E wear blue shirt. He wear a blue shirt. Don't remember the simple present. We need to add an S with these kind of verbs when we have third person. He, she, or it. Number nine, Louis. Row ball. Again, we need to add an S here. Louis throws the ball. And finally, number 10. Harry cause trouble. Harry cause trouble. Again, we have an S here. Now let's check our answers. Let's see how they go. Okay, so we have it seems we are right. We have we we have everything correct. Ten of ten sentences. And then you can generate new random sentences. But I don't want that in this moment. So let's go back to full exercises. 10 of 10 sentences. Sorry about that. I was just checking my audio. Let me check again if one of you guys has any questions. Sorry about that. Just checking my audio. Check again. Oops. Sorry about that again. Um. So that's it. So let's go by what. What else can we find here? Let's go with present progressive. Let's go with negative. Oh, no, let's, let's go with present. Let's go with negative sentences. Simple present. Let's take this class for simple present exercises. So we have here four negative sentences in simple present. And then we have, remember that we have, need to use do not or uh, not ending or of we need and also the contracted forms so we have negative sentence sorry about that that was a motorcycle that passed by my place so the dog doesn't bark. Why? Because we have the dog, which is third person. And that's it. And we have we don't open the door. We don't open the door. Again, because we have we, this is not third person. She doesn't sit on a chair. 
he doesn't sit on a chair. And we have Garrett. Doesn't. Always get confused when typing that. Garrett doesn't empty the bin. You don't pack your back. Cindy don't. What do you think? Let's see. Don't take a book. Is that correct? If you are if you think it's correct, leave in the comments, yes. If you don't, if you're sure it's not correct, just write down, it's not correct. Okay, let's see, I think, I'm sure we need to change the, the negative form since it is third person, okay? Cindy is a third person. Cindy doesn't take a book. Now we have she, again, doesn't tidy her room. She doesn't tidy her room. They don't sell furniture. We don't escape our punishment. Our punishment. Let's continue with she doesn't. Oops, I confuse all the time. Ah, oh, mosquitoes go away. She doesn't hop her little brother. She doesn't hop her little brother. So let's check answers. I hope everything is okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. Everything is green. So it means everything was correct. So I think that was that was enough for today's streaming for present perfect. Anyway, let's go back and see a little bit more. Maybe you can like to try out some more exercises. I highly recommend you this website. It's really easy to manage and you don't need you don't need to do a lot of let's go with questions to finish this simple present review and so let's start with this simple present questions. Oh we got some of the same sentences of the first exercise. So we have here, uh, remember that we have to use auxiliary verbs do in the front of do and does. In this case, we use do because we have do we climb a mountain? Okay, question mark. Do we climb a mountain? Do you listen to the radio? Do you listen to the radio? Now we go with does. Why? Because we have Ruth here. Now does Ruth drop? Pencil. 
we go with das again because we have a she here. Does she rush down the stairs? Do I agree with you? Do I agree with you? Does it weigh too much? Does it weigh too much? Does we enjoy our holidays? What do you think about this one? Does we enjoy our holidays? You're right. This is not correct. Do we enjoy our holidays? Do we cross the street? Is that correct? Yes or no? You're right. It's not correct. The correct form is does. There you go. Does Janet miss the bus? And finally, do they concentrate on the task? they concentrate on the task? Let's check answers. You never know. Mm, it seems everything is right. Oh, a mosquito here. Okay, I kill it. Do we have, do we climb? And, okay, let's go down, scroll down. It seems everything is correct. So that's all for now. I think it's enough for present simple. So this is the present simple of verbs. Present simple of sentences and exercises. Okay, guys, I hope you like this live streaming i hope to be streaming more videos like this let me know in the comments if you like it if you like it this way i think it's a a, a faster way to uh, share with you content since editing and all that fancy stuff is it takes so much time and you know guys i've I'm a busy guy, I'm a busy person, but I try to offer you the, be the best content I can. And I really appreciate if you leave me your comments below this video, below in the description, if you're watching on Facebook or you're watching on YouTube, um, just leave your comments and let me know what you think or just let me know if you like me to talk about a specific topic i'll be sharing with you more interesting things about this website from time to time but i highly recommend you to visit to visit it yourself and take all these exercises that will be helpful for your English learning and your uh, school and whatever you need. If you ever need any help, just leave me your comments in the description. I'm, I'm leaving also my contact information and my social profile so you we can stay in touch. Okay? Have a really have a good day or night depending on which country are you right now and have a wonderful time bye bye